Welcome back. Over the next three weeks, we are bringing you stories of second chances. In 1984, at 21 years old, Ron McKeithen was sent to prison for the rest of his life. But that sentence pushed McKeithen to commit his life to helping others. CBS 42 senior reporter David Lamb has his story in a special report on second chances. Each of us is more than the worst thing we've ever done. That quote from author and advocate Brian Stevenson could be the motto of Ron McKeithen. He was tossed in prison and the key thrown away until some unlikely advocates granted him a second chance. I was kind of breeded for prison. I went to juvenile a number of times because my mother was an alcoholic and didn't have a father. And so the streets kind of swallowed me up. The Ron McKeithen you meet today bears little resemblance to the man and by his own admission he once was. I was blaming everybody from the DA, the judge, everybody. But it, when it got to the point to where I recognized the part I played in it, and then I accepted the fact that, hey, I can't blame nobody. I made a decision. The decision that sealed his fate was the first degree robbery of a convenience store in Birmingham back in 1984. McKeithen had prior nonviolent property crimes in his past. Under Alabama's habitual offender law, the sentence was life without parole. I have regrets. I'm not going to say I didn't deserve to be there, but I damn sure deserve to be there that long. Carla Crowder from Alabama Appleseed agreed once the case came to her attention. Crowder and others felt a life sentence for a robbery where no one was injured, no shots fired, and a couple hundred dollars taken was too much, as did the victims of the crime. We um, contacted the victims in his case, were completely shocked in disbelief that Ron was still in prison for what happened in 1984. They literally laughed in our face and said, there's no way that he's still locked up. And we said, well, yes, he is, but you can do something about it. On December 16th, 2020, after 37 years behind bars, Ron McKeithen walked free. I don't live in regrets right now. I'm just moving forward. And every day is like a wonderful experience for me, you know. Today, life after prison is all about making the most of his second chance. McKeithen now works for Alabama Appleseed as a re-entry coordinator and advocate, spreading a message of hope and possibilities to those locked up and those newly free. And for me to go up there and like be standing out there when they walk out, oh man, it's great. They can get a little emotional, you know, for both of us. Cause Everybody's impressed with Ron. Yeah, he's a gem. He's brilliant. He is a great speaker. He's inspiring to people. He's a ray of sunshine because his work is hard. But as hard as the work is, Ron knows life behind bars is harder and often void of hope. And now as a free man with a painful past, McKeithen is on a mission to reach back and lift up those he left behind. My main mission is to like let people know that if you impress on me, you should leave me the guys I left. And that's who I'm out here for. That's my mission, shine the light on the guys that I left behind. In addition to his work with Appleseed, McKeithen is an incredible artist whose work has even been featured by the NFL. Focusing on his work with Appleseed, he's set the brush down for the time being, concentrating on the beautiful work he is doing in the lives of others. In studio, David Lamb, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.